In this video, you will learn how to factor trinomials with a leading coefficient larger than 1 using the slide and divide method. For this method, you first want to check for any greatest common factors among all three terms. Because there is no greatest common factor among these terms, we can go ahead and just start by taking the leading coefficient, 5, and multiplying it with the ending term, 6. Doing this changes our ending term to 30 and temporarily removes the leading coefficient. Now bring down any leftover terms, x squared plus 11x. Now that our leading coefficient is 1, we can go ahead and factor. We need two numbers that are going to multiply to give us 30 and add to give us positive 11. These two numbers are positive 5 and positive 6, so we can factor this polynomial as x plus 5 times x plus 6. Now taking this product of binomials, we then have to go back and divide by our original leading coefficient of 5 underneath each number. So we're going to divide the 5 underneath the 5 and the 6. Now you want to go ahead and simplify any fractions. 5 over 5 becomes 1, and 6 over 5 can't be simplified, so we're going to leave it as 6 over 5. Lastly, any numbers left in the denominator after you've fully simplified your fraction are going to be brought in front of the x in that set of parentheses. So our final factored form is x plus 1 times 5x plus 6. So the factored form of 5x squared plus 11x plus 6 is x plus 1 times 5x plus 6 using the slide and divide method. This next example, again you want to start by checking for any greatest common factors among all three terms. This polynomial does have a greatest common factor and what you want to do is first factor out the greatest common factor, which would be 4. If we divide out a 4 from every term, then we're left with 2x squared minus 1x minus 1. Now that our polynomial inside the parentheses has no more greatest common factors, we can slide and divide inside the parentheses. So to start that off, we're going to slide the leading coefficient 2 and multiply it with the last term, negative 1, to get negative 2. Bring all your other terms down, including the 4 in front. So we're left with 4 times x squared minus 1x minus 2. Now we can factor the polynomial inside the parentheses. We need two numbers that multiply to give us negative 2, and those same two numbers should add to give us negative 1. Those numbers are 1 and negative 2. So we can factor this polynomial inside the parentheses as x plus 1 times x minus 2, bringing down the 4 in front of the parentheses. Now, again, we have to divide by the coefficient that we originally slid and multiplied with our ending term, which was the 2, and we're going to divide it under each number. Now you want to go ahead and simplify any fractions. 1 over 2 can't be simplified any further, and negative 2 over 2 simplifies to negative 1. Because there's a 2 remaining in the denominator underneath the 1 half, you're going to bring that 2 in front of the x in that set of the parentheses. So the final factored form is 4 times 2x plus 1 times x minus 1. Here are some extra practice problems that can be factored using the slide and divide method. To see the answers and step-by-step -step solutions to solving these practice problems, click here. To see more math tutorials like this one, click here. Thank you for watching.